What year were you born? 1923. Where were you born? I was born in Rabban, in the right hand side of the road that was the old house. And uh, we lived across the road in, in the big two story house. And this is my third house to be in. How many are in your family? Uh, ten in the family, father and mother. And then uh, there was always maybe one or two more. Yeah. What work did your father do? He was a very handy man. He could turn his hand to He built houses and he was very good at stock and very good at fair and work and uh and all that kind of thing he was he was an all round man can you tell me about the fair days when you were young <clears throat> well big there were big horse fairs well there were sheep and cattle as well but in in the village of Cashel, it was you see an awful lot of horses in it and the green then was further down straight across from the school and the cattle and sheep had been there so there was six big fairs in the year the july fair they used to call it the gooseberry fair and uh, that died altogether when the carnival started in Castle blakeney the people weren't able to get up in the morning they were up all night dancing and <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they were the fairs and we had the days off school then all them fair days no school so we used to love it we, we never liked Monday going to school but we loved Friday oh, always oh. tell me about the carnival in Castle Blakeney oh it was wonderful it's, it's went on for 21 years and uh, they came from nearly all over the county and the dances were on from 10 to 4 o'clock in the morning and uh, that year it was always in july just before the carnival of Balligare. there was no one able to get up in the morning because they were up all night and uh, then the top bands in the country played there. Then a the younger crowd took it over and it only lasted two or three years. So that was the end of the carnival. It was the only carnival itself in Belly Gair in the country the time. Now. What other kind of entertainment can you remember? Well... We used to attend sports, those sports in, in every parish that time. You get a field out there, we competed running, cycling and jumping and all that kind of thing. And in the evening, pitch and toss. We used to toss pennies into what they call a bob and fill them up then. And if they came down in heads, that was yours. So then... We always had a good fire, bonfire night here in every village and uh, we'd go picking blackberries when they were out and we'd hazelnuts, there was hazel, a lot of hazelnuts up in Ashfield and we'd go up there and we used to pick the nuts and We'd spend a couple of days before St. Stephen's Day trying to capture a wren out in the hedges. And if you had a live wren in a nice little box, that time you'd get a bit of extra money in the house. It was nearly all coppers and odd sixpenny bit. We had relations back in Barnogs and we were sure to make it. We always got a big piece of cotton cake and sixpence. And two or three lads would go together, but it was all walking. There was no bicycles or cars that time. So uh, that, 
and then we'd plan to have a match between the school, the Greenville lads and the school, the came up that road and the Cash and Blakeney lads. We'd have a huddle match of a Sunday in some field. And uh, that was about it. Now, we, were, we, we entertained ourselves that way. Yeah. What games did you play when you were young? Football, hurling, mostly. Uh, best of games we played now here. And the sports, we do the three-legged race and run and jump and all that. I told you that before. I, but uh, hurling and football. Will you sing the song about Fohana that you wrote yourself? I will. It's for now I sing the one about my school days. Sing one about for now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one day I took a ramble. It was a lovely day in June. And passing over Clumpy Bridge saw the callows in full bloom. Oh, Palace Bog, you're always mine with your narrow winding roads where the fox and hare finds a resting place you could call it their abode. <clears throat> and along the road where the woodbines grow my heart kept saying to me <clears throat> we must turn as the junction and go visit Carraray. <clears throat> and as I stand in that hilly ground and I hear the pigeon coo and I gaze across at Lahamore and the lovely hill of Doon. At the crossroads there's the church and school, they're shining bright within. And in between with petrol pumps stands the lovely village inn. The proprietor is an all-round man, he grows sheep out in the yard. And in case you go with the course of the town, you get paid inside in the bar. All in a lot with your grey stone walls that were built by Lord Clumbrock. And as we pass, the lovely gates in our way to the horse block. All over, I will miss you, with your groves of trees so pure. And as we pass, the lovely woods in our way to sweet Kilior. Oh, the little church stands on its own and visits you most. And the people that go there to Mass are from Lena, Finn and Coish. If you're passing through these townlands and you want to find out more, and any house you'd visit, there's a holly at the door. And along Kilgirl's shady road, the goalposts can be seen. <coughs> The broad fame to the parish, the footballing men in green. And then you speak of Harlem, to Galway was the trips. To win three county finals there, the men round Tubbera Hip. Oh, there's lovely fields of Frisian cows, the best that I have seen. <coughs> But when the AI man comes round, they all want limousine. And when there is a sheep mart, Parik Madden will set sail. And when the hammer, it comes down, he will rattle from head to tail. Oh, for her, I'll miss you, I think I hear you call. To cycle up Shanachi Hill and to dance in the parish hall.